Fear over coronavirus continues to grow. This is going to be an issue of first impression in America, uh, as well as, you know, in the state of Tennessee. And now employees are having to make another tough decision, choosing between work and supporting a family. Right now, there is no law. Uh, that says that if you think you have these kinds of symptoms, that if you stay home, um, that uh, you will still get paid. It makes it very complicated to determine what to do because you have bills to pay. Health officials are urging people experiencing symptoms of coronavirus to call their doctor and isolate themselves for at least two weeks. But for some, not getting paid for 14 days can be difficult. Right now, there is no federal law requiring employees to provide paid sick leave. According to the U.S. Labor Department, almost a quarter of all full-time workers don't get paid sick leave. That's along with nearly 60 percent of part-time workers. News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says the government may have to intervene. I do think the government's going to have to take some sort of action depending on how big uh, this becomes. But if we, what we've known from uh, in other countries is that uh, it, it travels quickly. It does become a, a crisis. Some companies have created new policies to protect employees. For example, Trader Joe's and Uber say they will compensate workers for taking time off if diagnosed with coronavirus. Other companies are also making employees work from home and banning company travel to prevent the spread. While you should stay home if you're displaying coronavirus symptoms, I understand that it's easier said than done. Leonardo says Tennessee is a right to work, right to fire state, which means if you choose to stay home and not work, there's nothing protecting you from being let go of that job. It's just another thing to think about. We're reporting live in Nashville. Cena Slim, News Channel 5.